So, do you have someone in your life that you truly love, but sometimes they drive you crazy and you get all wrapped up like a mummy with all these negative feelings right before you probably even talk to him on the phone? You know, I don't know about you, but when my mother calls, I feel like I'm already creating this wrapped up negative energy. And in fact, when she calls me, she's like, hey, Barry, listen, nothing wrong. I didn't say anything was wrong. Well, okay. And usually she's just got to tell me something. But what's interesting is that I'm normally feeling that way, or I'm letting it go to voicemail, before I answer the phone. So I thought it'd be cute today to try and just give love towards my mom and answer the phone and just feel differently about the whole point of her calling me. And it actually changed the conversation very well today. And I actually called her back and started bugging her. <laughs> so. For my Halloween project today, I thought it'd be really cute to make a mummy, but not just a mummy, but to make a mummy give love. So let's make our mummy and let's give mummy love. <laughs> let's get started. Okay, so to make our mummy look like a real body, get some poultry netting or chicken wire and just sculpt it kind of like a body. You know, you can do a chest part with arms, a head, and legs. And then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. So once you get your sculpting, you just simply bend it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Keep that in mind. A mummy just wrapped up. And what we're gonna use next will really shape it up and make him look really all tied up. <laughs> okay, so to start with the body, I basically just kind of bunched up the poultry netting into like a little head and I just kind of gave him a little neck and this is kind of like his chest part area and just kind of tailor it just so it looks kind of like a body head and that's it and then take a longer piece and roll it up kind of like a long kind of tube and you're gonna just bend it in the middle and we're gonna attach it right there in his crotch area <laughs> to where his legs will be attached and then do the same for his arms and we're just going to bunch them up a little bit shorter and just attach it to the back of his torso. And that's really all you have to do to make a body. Okay, so you can see I've already sculpted my mummy with my poultry netting. And next, I'm just going to get some drop cloth canvas that they put down when people paint. Or I actually have some uh, leftover uh, like canvas that I stretch for paintings. And you're going to cut them in real thin strips. And we're just going to simply wrap our mummy all over until he's completely covered. I've already gotten a little cut there, and I'm just going to simply rip it, and it really gives that kind of spooky old mummy. Look at all the dust coming out of it now. So get you several of these started, some enough that you can think that you can wrap your entire mummy. So I happened to be in Walmart today, and I actually found some of this sheery, freaky fabric. And I'm going to add just a couple layers of that around my bandaged up little uh, mummy. And it'll give it kind of that, that sheery old torn up band-aid. So, um, and this stuff's only like $3. So, let's go ahead and wrap him up and I'm going to show you what he's going to look like. Okay, so I found a really spooky place in my house to place my mummy. And I'm going to actually decorate this area to make him even more spooky. And I'm actually going to give him a little like a note to, to read that's actually on a cardboard like stiff paper happy halloween <laughs> be sure to call your mom and give mummy love <laughs> thanks for watching and bye